We're in and around the Estepona area for this week. As the trials and tribulations continue. So following a second failure on the ITV test, I was straight into tackling some of these issues, starting by changing over the cable for the Speedo. We started by ripping out the old one, which had never actually worked. The cable runs from the dash down to the front left wheel. So this protector cap needed to come off. Once that was done, we were ready to start wiring in the new one. All in all, I'd allow about an hour for this job. The hardest part is actually getting the new cable to fit tightly to this wheel cap. A quick test to see that all is in order, and then it was job done. How was that? Quite easy? Oh, a bit, a little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> easy for these guys, but just without their help, you know what I mean? That's what we rely on. Yep. Speedo's done, so that's a little tick in the box. I do have the needle to repair. I need to super glue it back together because apparently it's quite hard to get a new one. So I've got the pieces here and I need to somehow super glue that back together. But regardless, it does still, it does still function. I can see now what speed I'm going. It's a bit of a, I said to the guys, it's a bit of a sort of historic moment in the journey because five and a half years of that having that van, it's never worked. So now I can actually see how many miles I'm driving and how fast I'm driving or how slow I'm driving. There was a lot of heavy rainfall for a few days. So I'm about to take this piece of wood out here. It's, uh, as you can see, leaking all along here. So it's all coming in from there, from the solar panels and there. So I'm going to have to seal, seal them. So I've done my best that I can to seal these bolts. That one there, I can't get to really, to be fair. I know what you're probably thinking, why don't you seal it from the outside, but it's literally pissing with rain. So, new window winders, considering I changed the, uh, the mechanism on that one over there last week, I thought I'd just get two new window winders with, just because the teeth had gone on the other ones. Does look a hell of a lot better that, doesn't it, to be fair? Next, I decided to do something about this extra long overflow tube. So this is the thing here, you've got, basically there's a, that's where the oil's coming out of, or the, it's like a runoff. So I've got to have a, this P1, two, three tubes coming out. Bit of DIY, I'm just gonna cut this piece here. I've cut that piece off and yeah, it's all gonna make sense in a moment. We're nearly there. I just need to put some black tape around it to cover that up. I'm just gluing that piece to just um, cover this little hole that I've made. So there we have it. All sorted. And so another job successfully ticked off the list. So there is the, here's the old battery here that I'm going to swap out. I had to find a battery with the exact same dimensions as my old one naturally quite a chaotic time all this with stuff here there and everywhere so we've got 13.3 volts new batteries in all installed um here's my old one which i don't know what to do with now i don't know whether to chuck it or whether to hold on to it because it's quite bulky and it's sort of in the way but yeah anyway 13.3 volts charging now on the solar new batteries installed i'm buzzing Got it charged up last night as well. Um, and then now there's a little bit of sunshine, so it's just topping it up last 10%. Hey, say hello. Say hello, Blinker. Good girl. Mm -hmm. So we're in Valle Romano. Uh, I don't know if you know that area. It's not too far from Estepona. I'm just by the golf course. Just been there for a little coffee this morning. Rain seems to have passed now. So... That's kind of good. The sun's relatively trying to come out a little bit now. Um, yes, yeah, a few little things uh, to, to to be do, to be done next week. Um, weekend now, so everything shuts on the weekend here as well. Not really much to be to be done. So chill out this weekend. Got the new battery in there now, so that's good. Um, I reckon I'm going to change this floor, the this uh, this black floor, just purely because. It's got quite a bit of damage on it. Um, what I'm thinking is rip this floor up when I take out all the other wood and that when I go.
go to the MOC next week, rip all, the, all that up, rip the wood that's underneath that up and just stick a nice new flat sheet of plywood in. That's what I'm sort of thinking. Um, ready for the rebuild. How about a touch, mate, he's just given me an inverter. So I've now got 240. Just plug that in straight onto the battery. So I'm charging from the solar now, 240, my, uh, my batteries, my drill batteries. Happy days. So we're sticking another, the other older speakers in the same door card. Just wiring them in now. Got some speaker cable here. Halfords 2.5 mil cable. And we're just wiring these two speakers in. So a slight redesign today is what I'm thinking. I want to make all of this whole thing either into one or two units that come that can be easily moved in and out because this is part of the problem that I'm having. Which is kind of what I did with this one. You know, this this comes in and out now without too much drama. But this needs a little bit of a redesign. As I started taking away a lot of this wood. I noticed how much the wood panelling needed sanding down and the deeper I dug, the more mould seemed to appear. This is five years worth of moisture build up, caused mainly by the fact that I hadn't treated this wood as I put it in. In the end, I decided just to take all of the wood out, strip it all right back and start again. This wood here went down right at the beginning of the project. This beige flooring here on the left I actually found during the middle of lockdown in Portugal. I ended up eventually building over this, and so here it's remained for multiple years. Eventually I took it all back to the bare bones, with a need for a crowbar to get this one last batten out. I spent the rest of the evening giving this wall a good sand down, but soon realised I was in for quite a big job here. And so this was as far as I wanted to go for now on this job. As you can see, yet more chaos ensued, as I continued getting it all ready for the MOT. Stayed up in the polygon for a few days whilst I get everything sorted. There's nothing like a good green mountainous view in the morning. When I woke up, I decided it was time to rip out the old floor. It actually proved quite difficult to get all this flooring up as I'd used a pretty strong glue. As you can see as well, plenty of sanding to be done on the walls. So in the end, I decided to just rip out the floor and even the old floor underneath, which I've put in first job when I got the van five years ago so it's a five-year-old floor basically um, yeah ripped it all out and we're gonna go just gonna get a sheet of plywood and put plywood down all the installation was in pretty good condition so I decided to just leave that as it is I went for a standard nine mil sheet of ply which I had to cut down one meter wide to get it through the door I took some extra care to get this area around the door opening all bang on and within a number of hours, I managed to get the whole new floor put back down. I'm actually very happy with how it's turned out. There was a few finicky cuts to be done around the door and a slight indifference in the floor height, but it all makes for a good challenge. A fellow T3 owner had rocked up at the garage ready to get some work done himself. Beautiful sunny day this morning. Got our ITV at 12. We've got the van in now. Just having a look at the gears again. Um, but yeah, hopefully today is going to run nice and smooth. I thought this was a really beautiful moment to capture as I sat here with Maya in the beautiful nature, in and amongst all the chaos. And so one quick job here before I prepared to head to the ITV. Yes, come on, we got it, we got it, finally, third time lucky man. Luckily, I come across a decent, decent fella, and uh, he he was all right, you know. That's all it comes down to at the end of the day, is the people. Whether you get good people, whether you get, you know, people that have had a bad day, it's just luck. I thought I'd celebrate by taking the van down to the beach to paint this beautiful new floor with a couple of layers of protective varnish, letting the afternoon sunshine dry it all out. And that left me ultimately thinking, what's next? 
Need to decide first on what kind of finished floor I'm going to put on top of this. I like the wood, but it will get damaged quickly. So guys, big thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed. It's been a bit of a mishmash of stuff going on, um, which I've been pretty much is a reflection of my week. A bit all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel, of course, and all the other stuff like uh, the video. Um, and if you do have any comments, then please share. Much love and we move.